Welcome to the CIMA, a center for Italian modern art in Broome Street in downtown New York for this incredible uh, iconic exhibition about Morandi. And uh, I'm Renato Miracco and she's Laura Mattioli, uh, the founder of this foundation and the charity, public charity and no-profit organization dedicated to Italian art. Laria, this is a really unbelievable, beautiful, as everybody knows, I did just an exhibition about Morandi at the Metropolitan Museum, but this is really, okay, I'm trembling when I enter just in, inside this room, seeing so many beautiful paintings, because I'm such an enthusiastic about Morandi, and the way you display the art, the way, um, you discover such incredible and unknown pieces from private collection and put together for all the, the curators. This is really, really amazing. Thank you for this so kind word and for the appreciation that I know come from a person that is very involved with Morandi and is a, a really a, a way to, to understand that the job we are doing is good. Uh, well, of course, this is a completely different space and ambience in the show from the Metropolitan. The Metropolitan is a huge, import, very important museum. Uh, at that time, you did a complete uh, uh, series of important paintings about Morandi to show all his career and all what he did in, uh, with the most important masterpieces. Here we are working uh, in a completely different uh, way because uh, the ambience is different, uh, is a loft, uh, and uh, we want to see if this approach this is uh, most uh, private, uh, most uh, direct, uh, not with many people. is uh, a, a space uh, that is not open to the public, uh, but uh, we are, have as public uh, more the directors, the curators, uh, the fellow, the students, the universities, uh, is uh, uh, an ambience of study, more than uh, uh, an open space for everybody, also the people that don't know. And we want to encourage the museums uh, to take a different approach about Italian art that is not so well known. Our focus is uh, to try to find a, a new way to look at Italian art that too many times out from Italy is understood that something coming from a French art that it is not true uh, to show something that is not known uh, well we have to look at the past uh, with a uh, uh, new uh, approach about uh, what are perhaps uh, uh, new also proposals. In general, the, the show in the museums come up after a long time that the curators, that the, uh, the people working for the museums are, are uh, involved in the subject. And is the proposal of the research that are in some way at the end. Uh, for us, uh, uh, to put the works uh, inside the foundation is a way to study the works yeah. because the fellow uh, have to live uh, with the works, uh, to, uh, to learn more about the works every day, also looking on uh, many different lights and many different uh, also feelings uh, uh, with the guided tours, uh, with different people that, put, uh, that ask different questions. And uh, they have also uh, a subject, a matter, to, to to work on, that uh, is a way to, uh, to go more deeply in the paintings, where the paintings are something, the artworks in general, are something that I know in person, I try to keep together because I think it's interesting, but uh, is a pa platform to start the studies. Tell me about how you choose your fellowship, how you choose the people who want to, to, to work with you. We have an executive committee that choice the, the fellow. The, we have an application that uh, starts in November and uh, uh, we propose a subject that will be also the subject of the exhibition of the next year. 
and uh, we call for application. Uh, the fellow can apply till uh, the end of uh, January. And uh, after that, uh, we decide the, the committee, the committee uh, look at the fellowship and uh, for the beginning of March, uh, we give the grants. And uh, we have uh, also a relation with important university and also um, our fellowship are international. We want absolutely to mix uh, people coming from Italy with people coming from uh, all the world because the way to approach Italian art in Italy is uh, uh, from a point of methodological point of view, completely different yes, from what outside. The show here is uh, focused on the 30s, the works that uh, Morandi did uh, during that time, and uh, it was the, the time when he was really a mature painter and found his own way to, to approach and to, to, um, to, um, uh, to see the object and to propose uh, his, uh, his style and his lives. This is the focus of the show and uh, we are um, not so many paintings but very intense, very strong. And by side we have other paintings of other times, 20s, uh, uh, 10s, uh, 60s, in the way the people can understand uh, what uh, it take from the previous experience and what he gave uh, to the last uh, times of his activity. I hope uh, this is an approach that opened the mind about a new question, uh, new ideas, and first at all, not the idea of a painter that did all his life the same thing. In all my lecture and guide to the exhibition of Morandi all over the world, I always used to say, awaken aware when you are just in front of a Morandi masterpiece or drawings or whatever. Because maybe you would like just to fear, say, mm, I know that one because I saw that one before. Isn't it true? Awake and aware that you are in front of really a speech. You are really in front of something that you can see and it can talk to you. And this came of uh, what I really would like just to underline about the new idea of still life that we have with Morandi. The fourth dimension of a painting. What does it mean, the fourth dimension of my paintings? You have to deal with what you see in front of the paintings and what you see behind the paintings. So that is really important. The dialogue between the front and behind the paintings, it's important for the painting itself. My father Gianni Mattioli was an important collector that met Morandi in person many times uh, through the Milione Gallery, that was the gallery uh, of Morandi. Uh, many times when I was a, a girl, uh, we were together with my father and my mother to visit Morandi, uh, his studio, his house and to have lunch together. And uh, I was very shocked uh, at that time because the Morandi studio was very strange for me. I grew up in a bourgeois family and uh, I found uh, this space uh, uh, so different, uh, also uh, so dust. And uh, um, I was asking to myself in what way it could move the object without uh, to take away the dust he wanted, <laughs> of course, uh, to have there. He was teaching in the morning, coming back, um, living with two sisters in a little, little room and have a little, little lunch, and then have a napping, half an hour, no more than, than that. And then he has his little, little studio, and he has just a little, little shells. First step, second step, third step. All this object that you can see, he found just in the flea market, and he put just apart. And then, okay, I put one, two, and three on the third level. And then maybe I can make some 
dialogue between two or three. So I move two or three objects from the third to the second. So then, after days, days, not hours or minutes or seconds, days, from the second shells to the first one. All this object has to be covered by dust. Why dust? Because dust gives you the feeling of the past. Dust gives you the feeling of the eternity, the fourth dimension. And then it started just to be, okay, maybe this dialogue between this and this, front and behind. Maybe I can put this and this, and this like really, like a real person, like a really talking object. Each of them has a story. And if you really hear in front of a Morandi paintings, you can hear the story. My father also, uh, sometimes when he came at home from the work, he told me some stories uh, and uh, he liked to play with the stories around the Morandi painting. In fact, I think that Morandi bottles were for him as uh, characters of uh, many stories told uh, to himself also. Uh, they are little families, uh, they are friends, they are people close to one to the other or far one from the other. And uh, uh, I think it's very important for Morandi uh, not only the position of the object in the, lens, in the um, still lives, uh, but more uh, the relation, as they are relation between person. The feeling between a huge bottle and a little cup. The little cup is really touching the little bottle, no more than little, little, little one. It was like a, a, a touching between a kids and an adults, or like two friends, little big relationship between two stupid, as more of the people used to consider, stupid object. Relationship, feeling, love. And what is really interesting is just the blank between two objects, front and behind. So this is why I used to say, Awaken aware when you are in front of Morandi painting.